Welcome to another tailoring tutorial. I am Lewis, founder and owner of Primo Tailoring and aspiring gent. Today, we're gonna to show you how to get those crispy mitered edges on your sleeves. Stay tuned. For those of you who are returning to the channel, welcome to the new space. You've seen us switch from place to place over um, the year and a half, but we are at a new, more permanent location. So super pumped about that. Check out the last vlog if you wanna see how all that came about. But if you're new to the channel as a whole, welcome. Hopefully you go dive into some of our other content and enjoy it. Thank you guys for being here. Let's get right into the mitered edge. So this step is going to come once you have already determined your sleeve length. You're going to have it pressed where you want it on the placket and on the length. And then we'll go over to the iron and I'm going to show you guys how to mark it and sew it to get that mitered edge. So we do have a video on the full process. Just replace the placket piece when we just fold over the placket with this mitered video and then the rest of the video still applies to you. So let's go over to the iron. We're gonna check it out and I'm gonna show you how to mark for your placket sewing. So like I said, we want this to already be where we want this sleeve to be marked at. So we have it set there and we wanna press two creases in. One being the crease of its finished length and then two being the crease for where the placket is gonna go straight up. So make sure that that's going up in a straight line, press that down. The point we're gonna focus on is where these two lines intersect right here. What you do from here is you're going to measure, we're gonna use the small side because we have two different lengths for the placket and one for the length. We're gonna use the small side at an inch and a quarter. So you're gonna measure an inch and a quarter down from that first line. You've got your mark right there. And you wanna do an inch and a quarter this way. You've got your mark right here. You're going to fold this at this point so that these two marks meet each other. Beautiful. Then next, put your mark out on this side. We are going to sew from this mark to that intersection point. So this straight line right there. We're gonna use our straight stitch and run that line. So you're going from this point, you're sewing through that intersection out to your other point. Just like that. Boom, let's take it to the machine and we'll show you what it looks like. So boom, we're back from the machine again. We just sewed a straight seam right on that line. Let's see if you can focus on that. So you're gonna turn this in right side out, pinch there, pinch there, pull open, and there is your mitered seam. Now you can go in and you can cut off all this extra fabric if you desire. I like to keep it just in case it gets resold or the person wants the sleeves adjusted later on and it doesn't add too much bulk in there. So you just wanna go like that, make sure you get the corner nice and pointy and then press it. Boom, boom, let's get rid of that mark. And that is your mitered seam on a suit. You can then go ahead, follow the tutorial on how to put all this placket back together, so on the lining, but that gets you that super clean placket look right there. Guys, and that is it. You've got a beautifully sewn mitered placket. Definitely gonna be the best way to get this job done in terms of looks. It's not the quickest in my opinion, but if you are going for that perfectly professional look, or you just wanna try out something new with your sewing, this placket is the way to go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you know where to go to the comments or find me on all my other social media that is also linked in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, share to all your friends so we can grow this channel as large as we can. So thank you guys for watching to the end and I look forward to working with you in the next video.